Hi. I'm back with yet another video about this game, Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. However unlike the other videos, this is not just a gameplay video showcasing my sprite or sound mods. This time I wanna talk about the last world of this game. Yes, I'm talking about World Zero, the so-called Twisted Reality. When I downloaded the latest build of the game, which is version 0.75, I was disappointed to see that there is still not a single level finished in World Zero. All they did was update how the map looks like, and well, I do like it overall, despite the expected Earthbound slash Mother references, but again, none of the levels are finished yet. All we have is names for each level. So I thought it would be fun to guess how each level will be like. But before commenting on the names for the levels, I would like to say that the background song for the map is a song called He Uponia, taken from the game Clone Noah 2, and the image you see when the game has the transition screen you see when entering worlds is an image taken from the game Splatterhouse. I'm guessing the image is supposed to represent how the castle of Mead level is supposed to look like. Also a funny coincidence is that both the song and image are taken from Namco games, I wonder if that was intentional. But enough of that, let's see what kind of levels were planned for the Twisted Reality world. And yes, I said planned, because it's not guaranteed that every level will make it into the final build of this game, but let's go and see what kind of insane ideas await us. The first level is the gate. We do actually have a screenshot of this level from the MKF wiki. I assume it would be a linear level with lots of flying obstacles coming from the right. Gravity well. Maybe it would just be a level with lots of obstacles, based on changes in the gravity or physics. Ocean of souls. I assume it would be a water level with a lot of spirit based enemies constantly chasing you, and the water itself would be white looking with an added layer of fog. Hall of Mirrors. Maybe it would be based on the mirror economies from the mirror room from the game Splatterhouse. Miasma City. Now I don't know about you, but the word miasma is not a word I'm very familiar with, so let's do a bit of research. Okay, it basically means that it is like a toxic smoke that usually comes from decaying living beings, and how it would be carried by environmental things like air or stagnant water, and being in contact with it can cause some strange symptoms. It's basically contamination, in fact the word miasma itself means contamination in Greek. So I assume it would be a zombie based level with lots of zombies, and you are not given a weapon like a shotgun to kill the zombies for good, so you have to avoid them as much as possible. And because there is a lot of them, they are the quote unquote miasma of the city. Or, it could be a level where you are constantly taking damage and there is nothing you can do about it but grab power-ups as much as possible. Melting Room. It would probably be a level with no scrolling, much like what the level Retro Factory from Minus World has. And maybe the gimmick for the level would be that it has obstacles that behave just like an object that melts. Or, it could be an ice level where you have to melt ice blocks carefully to progress, and that has lots of different fire-based enemies. The Great Maze. This would probably be the most unoriginal level, because the name alone gives me Smash Brothers Brawl Subspace Emissary flashbacks. They definitely didn't put any thought on the name for this level, and maybe the level itself would kinda be a copy of the Great Maze from the Subspace Emissary from Brawl. It also sounds like it would be a tedious level where you have to do trial and error to progress. I would recall it the messy maze. The castle of meat. Maybe it would be a disturbing looking level where everything is based on meat. At some point I thought it was a reference to the game Super Meat Boy, but I doubt it, cause I believe Super Meat Boy wasn't out yet when Mushroom Kingdom Fusion was being made. The closest to that would be, if one of the developers played the original Meat Boy Flash game, and then they would come up with this idea for a castle level, but that's very unlikely. It would be nice if it was actually kinda based on that though. Also, I actually made a sprite for the level in the map, based on my guessing. The Abyss. I think that maybe it would be a level, 
where you are falling for 90% of the whole level, and you have to do your best to avoid enemies that are falling with you. Redarima Heaven. It seems like it would be a level filled with nothing but Redarimas that are completely invincible. It would be indeed a nightmare of a level going with my assumption alone. Speedway of Screams. Perhaps the gimmick for the level would consist in vehicles crashing constantly, making explosions that you must dodge in addition to the vehicles themselves. And the only enemies would mostly be the drivers burning to death, while screaming like a little bitch ass nigger that lost her dark souls. Don't worry, that audio clip was taken from a streamer's rage compilation. So don't start asking me where I got it from and the same way people were asking Kowloon Kurosawa about the dead body image in Hong Kong 97. Oh by the way, I would recall the level Scream Speedway Zone. Another thing about this level is that it's actually repeated twice in the map, cause if you place your character in the square with the number 12, it displays the same Speedway of Scream's name. Here, let me give it a name. Terrifying 97. Much better, right, but let's move on. There is also a level called, Undefined Zone. I don't know if this is supposed to be an actual level, or, maybe it's just a placeholder name. Well, let me use this slot for a level. Since I think this world could use some levels based on the bad guys from the games that the playable characters come from. I would use this slot for a level called, Dracula's Legacy, a level based on the last section of the game Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, except that every section would be a fragment of the most difficult sections of Dracula's castle from different games, yes, including non-Castlevania games. The level would also have every visual depiction of Dracula in the media as background graphics. <laughs> as for the Mega Man Museum level, it is already in the game. It's just that it was moved to the Megaverse world. Greed Trap. I assume it would be a level where every time you see a coin or a rupee, it results in a dangerous hazard that is difficult to deal with, and maybe the same would apply to getting power-ups or any sort of convenience found in the level. And finally, we have this one, the castle that doesn't make sense. I think the name of this last boss level should be named No Sense Castle Dam. Get it, cause it's a nonsense sentence. However, it does make sense when you put the pieces together. And actually, that might be a good idea for how you beat this level. Maybe it should be a level filled with nonsensical level design, but that it becomes easy to deal with when you manage to make sense out of it. I also think that the boss of the level called simply Abomination should be renamed. Fusionation, get it, because it is a fusion of the words fusion and abomination. In the MKF wiki, there is a sprite of how this last boss is apparently going to look like, it frankly looks kinda stupid, I hope they redesign him. I also want to mention that apparently, this world was going to be scrapped in order to finish the game, but this was considered around 2014. So I doubt they would still consider getting rid of this world, since they clearly have shown signs of wanting to complete it by reworking the look for the map. Personally, I wouldn't want World Zero to be removed, cause sure, it could be argued that it isn't appropriate for younger audiences, but so is Gehenna and maybe the Demon Realm. That can easily be fixed with a small warning when you boot the game if you ask me. I don't know how the devs haven't bothered with that, cause this game clearly has stuff from games that are not for kids. What a shameful disregard for younger audiences that are clearly gonna wanna play this, but anyways. Now I want to bring up some things the devs said regarding the state and future of the game, based on what they said on Discord, cause anybody can interact with at least one of them on their Discord. I want you to focus on this thing in particular that Eddie MRA, aka Judge Spear said. While I don't mind if they don't wanna make changes to the characters, I do mind the fact that he basically admitted that the game will never be finished soon, when he said they are basically just polishing existing content. Sorry, but this is the stupidest thing I have seen. This is the type of stuff that you might wanna do when the game is finished, not when it's incomplete, and it is clear that this game is still in an unfinished state. 
why don't you focus on making new levels that are clearly the most needed ones for the game. I'm obviously talking about the missing world boss levels, and the fact that the twisted reality world still doesn't have a single playable level in it like I said earlier. If anything, this sounds like you're basically saying, we don't have what is needed to bother with all of that, cause I know that one of the people on the team left due to disagreements I believe, and apparently, that person was very important, because he was doing most of the needed work. I know I'm being mean and all of that, but I'm trying my best to explain why I think that doing nothing but polishing existing content is so stupid, and how it kinda sounds like you don't have what is missing to add the crucial stuff on the game. The fact of the matter is, if it's not seriously broken, don't fix it. And look guys, it has been a decade since you left this project, so the fact that the game is still unfinished, is not as excusable anymore. Also, there is a bit of drama that happened, when I spoke to this Eddie MRA guy. For some reason he had a problem with how I wish the character Vial had a way to shoot upwards with his shoulder cannon. Just like he does in Maverick Hunter X. He said that would be quote unquote, broken, while trying to excuse things, by saying the game is based on Mario physics. Yeah I know, cause I can clearly see that in how anything lava base kills you in one hit. It's always fucking annoying to deal with that when playing the game, but that's a different story. I understand the game is based on Mario physics, but at the same time, I don't think you should excuse things with that. Sure, there is things that would not be Mario, like how he said vile shooting upwards would not fit the Mario physics, but you know what, using graphics from other games is also not Mario. Not to mention, that the character Simon can attack straight up, thus being able to go through certain levels with ease, by using his cheap multi-directional whip. So just like that, you fell into hypocrisy. You have to understand, that a game with such a ton of content like MKF is always gonna have at least some flaws and cheap stuff, that the player can use to his advantage, there's not much you can do about it. After that he kept replying for some reason, and the only reason I replied, was to clarify, that I didn't mean what I was saying in a bad way, and that I was not forcing anybody to do anything. But guess what this Eddie guy did after that, he got seemingly upset and muted me. At that point I was done with them, you didn't have to be an asshole about it, and you didn't need to keep the argument going, by keep engaging with it the way you did. You could have just stopped replying instead, rather than trying to have a beef with me. Sometimes saying nothing, and walking away is the best way to drop arguments. I mean I already dropped the thing myself anyway, hell, I even said that to him. This looks like you took what I said to a personal level, even though I wasn't trying to be mean about anything, nor was I trying to get your attention. After he muted me, I stopped trying to be nice, and I pretty much left their server, while being like, good riddance. All I have left to say to this guy is, you can drop this dick in your mouth, while sticking your nice white boy rules on your ass for all I care about. No, I'm not black, the reason I said that, is because it's a notorious stereotype to me. Sorry, but I don't like some smart ass talking down to me. As if I'm a little dumb kid, or trying to tell me what to do, while acting high and mighty about it. In the end, I just blocked him and moved on, and I was like, I don't wanna hear from this guy again, cause based on what I read about his involvement on the game, he kinda looks like he was a bit of an egocentrical dick with what he wanted to do. So yeah, I'm not in good terms with the devs of this game, but I don't care. Cause the thing is, I don't owe them nothing. And it's not a crime, if I don't feel like being nice when talking about any of them. And most importantly, I don't have to like or care about the developers of a game, in order to love or hate the game itself. It's just like, when people were hating on that game called Fez, just because Phil Fish was involved with it. I think that's dumb, who cares if that guy is an asshole? don't let that prevent you from enjoying the game. And if he ran away with your money, well that's your fault for giving him your money in the first place. Anyways, that is it for this video talking about content on this game, that most people never talks about. And yes, I know there is levels I didn't mention, it's just that I didn't have much to say about those levels, and I didn't wanna force myself to come up with something. 
Besides, I was supposed to upload this way earlier, so I didn't want to delay this video even more, because there is plenty of other videos that I hope I'll be able to finish by the end of October. I hope they finish this game soon. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm more than tired to wait for this gosh damn game to be finished, it's the same problem I have with Mega Man X Corrupted. It seems like it's gonna be a great game, but by the time it finally comes out, people might not care as much about the game anymore, and that is not counting people who wanted to play the game, that are sadly not around anymore due to whatever reason. Don't do a Duke Nukem forever, that's all I'm basically saying. Okay that's it. See you later.